This is why I tell y'all like, share, subscribe, join the Patreon, get the merch, because we die for this shit right here, B. You know what I mean? Y'all hear the voice. We die for this shit. I should have been in bed just chilling, but it's some slam predictions, and y'all requested in the Discord, which y'all should join. Hey guys, this is Santi Numarel, and you're listening to Wrestling Behind the Curtain. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what it is. Already know what it is. Your boy is sick. Kenzo's in the building. Probably gonna, take, probably gonna take it over, but this is why I tell y'all like, share, subscribe, join the Patreon, get the merch, because we die for this shit right here, B. You know what I mean? Y'all hear the voice. We die for this shit. I should have been in bed just chilling, but it's some slam predictions, and y'all requested in the Discord. Which y'all should join. I mean, it's free, obviously. Come join. Come check us out. It's free out there. Free for now. You might get in there while it still is. You might put a paywall up on that, John. You never know. Okay, I was unaware of that, but yes, a paywall. You, might, you know, we might give the originals a little discount. They already in there. They ain't got to pay no more. And then the people who join after the damn, you came after it was popping already. You know, everybody want to get in here. Maybe you got to pay a little something, something. Well, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll see. Our numbers are up there. We're like in the one twenties now. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you could you could you could be part of the original Bullet Club, but you're slipping. But <clears throat> that being said, it's bittersweet because it's, it's gonna be the last time I film in this house. You know what I mean? Man, it's on the move. Yeah, we're moving. You cripple. You know what I mean? Might put a link to one of my other channels if y'all want to see how they go. I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet, but we appreciate y'all. But you know, last time we. Shooting this joint, you know, it's been good to us. So, that being said, we're gonna get into predictions. Is there anything we want to get out the way first? Um, <coughs> we're almost a full week through the first uh, week of the Triple H era, but not, nothing of note yet. So, let's pump. Let's let's. let's, let's like, he do look. He do look a little promising though. He do. He look promising. I told y'all, if they if they give him free reigns. He looked like he, he looked like he up something already, which we'll talk into some extent because some of them things have already changed. So now I might trust SmackDown on tonight. I don't know. Let's see where the plans go. I don't know. I feel like they're going still going to be a little. Hmm. We might get a we might get a good go home segment though. Might get a good because it because because Raw was alright though. I ain't gonna lie, Raw was alright. That's why I keep hearing. You know, I, I I watch. You know, I got my review. I read it. I don't. I ain't watch. Uh... But all right, let's get into the SummerSlam because. Uh, chance can only be up so long. Uh, oh, let's start your favorite, John. The Mysterios versus Judgment Day. Uh, no DQ match. Pre-show? I would have. I don't know. I, this is just where I started. Yeah. Uh, you know, they don't really ever say what's going on the pre-show ahead of time. That's just stuff we figure out when the pre-show come on, basically, or, 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 you know, like a little bit before that. They ain't put that shit on there yet. So I'm going to assume that's the pre-show. Maybe. Who knows? I'm I'm gonna assume that they're just like you like we said earlier that they're just running out storylines that they already had in place. <clears throat> Last Monday was when historically they would do a turn if they were gonna do a turn because Ray was there with his family. It was a perfect time for celebration for Dominic to turn. It didn't happen, so I'm gonna say for the last time. If they do not turn Dominic on this pay per view, just let it go. So my predictions are going to be Judgment Day, Dominic turns, and that's how we go. If you don't turn him, leave the shit alone. Just blow up Judgment Day. Even though I love it with Rhea, but blow up Judgment Day, leave it alone, and just let Ray glide off into us. All right, you see, you see Dominic growing the Eddie Guerrero mullet. You see it, you know, you know that big storyline when that was that was SummerSlam. It's time pull the trigger. You should have done the last SummerSlam, but fuck it. He turn him now. It's time. Um, Judgment Day got to take the W. It's a no DQ match that goes in favor of the Judgment Day. Their heels, like why would 
the Mysterios win a no DQ match. Oh, yeah. So there you go. All right, I'm gonna add to it though. We we might get Edge. We might. Dominic might turn. Dominic might turn. They start yamming on Ray, and then Edge come for his revenge with the with the with the new. I, I do believe Edge returns. I agree. With the new uh, we call it Pyro, not Pyro, the intro ship, and we get Edge. Edge helps Ray, and then that then we can go to that storyline, and we can we can move along. Oh yeah, you know, hopefully Peacock don't. <laughs> but Judgment Day on this one. Damn, bless you, son. Sheesh. I told, I told you, son. All right. Uh, I do this for y'all. So y'all better hit the like. <laughs> Share and subscribe. What you talking about? Uh, Logan Paul versus The Miz. I want Logan Paul to take this because Logan Logan does get good heat. But the funny thing is I said this in, in the in the Discord and on Twitter, you know, Chance. What's the rest of the mind, Kurt? Um, Logan Paul is supposed to be the face. And he's getting the booze. And Miz is getting the cheers. And he just got such a punchable face. Um, yeah, I'm going with Logan Paul as well. Uh, the Miz is bulletproof at this point, as we've discussed several thousand times. He could eat a thousand losses and his aura just, I mean, maybe maybe not too much in a row, but you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, Logan Paul needs this. So Yeah, because depending, depending on how this match goes, because he, he did pretty good in the WrestleMania match. If it goes decent, I, I wouldn't mind watching them go again. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I don't care to expand on that too too much. Um, uh, who we got next? Um, Bobby Lashley versus Theory. <laughs> um, I got Theory has to interrupt later on in the night and shit. I I think he's gonna. Re- I think Bobby Lashley retains. I say prevents. He was gonna win, but I think they're about to blow him all the way up. I think I think he loses. I think Bobby retains. All right, so we on the same page there. Um did that one. Uh Usos versus Street Profits with the special guest referee double J Jeff Jarrett. This is crazy because I have no idea why Jeff Jarrett is in here. I have no idea why Jeff Jarrett has been wearing a referee costume. For two weeks, just because he's well, maybe more, just because he's a special guest referee. No one's ever done that. When when Shawn Michaels was a special guest referee, he wore the referee thing the day of. Jeff Jarrett rocking on in this sleeveless referee shirt <laughs> for how long now? It's kind of hilarious. I'm sorry. It there's there's just something about you know old wrestling that tickles my funny bone still. I'm I'm sorry. I'm kind of broken. It's not my fault. Uh, but yeah. Um, who go with this? Uh, the the. the the Usos oh, continue Uso. the rain. I don't. I really don't. Yeah, I guess. I guess Usos. Oh, Usos, because I would like to believe this isn't going to happen. But it's a new era, so maybe it will. That yeah, Dawkins are going to get the pin. They're going to finally break up Ford and Dawkins and let yep. Ford, let, Ford, and let Ford get onto that singles push because he is the future star. I do believe that Usos retain. But yeah, like I said, I'm. I don't know why Jeff Jared is there. Like, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a swerve for some reason. Double J. There's going to be a swerve somewhere. I just don't know why. But yeah. Usos. Yeah, I got the Usos too. Um, Pat McAfee versus Happy Corbin again. This might be a pre-show. I don't know. I really, I don't know. Yeah, that might be a pre. Um. At this point, I don't think we really care about Corbin losing, so I, I'm gonna go with Pat. Oh yeah, Corbin's the gateway hill. I've been saying that for like um, however long I've been on wrestling behind the curtain, because <laughs> you know he's the first heel. No, it's a lot of times the first heel or babyface. Either that means you were a new babyface, you know, a call up or switching shows, or you were a heel and now you're a babyface. And to prove that, you gotta go against the you know guy who's always a heel, Corbin. I guess so I don't know. It's kind of stupid. Um, so I'm gonna go with Pat McAfee as well. And we think we pretty much think the same thing on all these. I think so. Uh, Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch for the Raw for the Raw Women <laughs> Raw Women's Championship. Bless you. Thank you. Um, this is crazy because I can't imagine Becky losing again. <laughs> but but it would be so soon to take it from Bianca because she's doing so well. So I would think, I would think she's gonna lose. 
I think I think Bianca retains, but I can't see Becky losing. What is it? Three times? I think that's three. Well, we we were on the same page for everyone, and we're still on the same page for everyone because I also believe Bianca retains, and I also agree that it's, it's looking kind of uh, weird for Becky because Becky should be Teflon proof, like some of the other people I've mentioned on, the, like I say all the time, those people who bulletproof, like I said about the Miz earlier. But at the same time, it's like since she's come back held the belt, lost it. What has she done? Like, that mystique is like... And we can't just, you know, switch around shows. This roster has nothing to help her show dominance at all because it's kind of like, yeah, either in the title picture or in the tag team, that's who really cares about that division. And it's like, what's going on? It's like, they got to fix this one division because there's there's enough top-tier talent, but not, not enough mid-card talent and stuff to make it work. And we see WWE seems to be healing, so let's make sure we heal all sections and don't... Forget this one, please, because I complain about AEW's women enough. I don't need to be complaining about that shit. Yeah, because all Triple- week long in every video I do or we do. Triple- nice. But I will do it if it doesn't improve. So Triple H is back. Supposedly him and Steph were Trips, you hear me? Uh, you know, Steph get a lot of credit for women's wrestling. I don't know why, but you know, we're not gonna get into that right now. I think I think the real credit goes to Paige, but anywho. Since Triple- should go to page and i agree with that but i don't know if it actually does this um, triple h and stephanie are here then i would like to believe that they're listening to the crowd the crowd is really behind bianca Belair. i mean you've seen the thing with, with uh seth he said we, we heard you blah blah whatever he we said that too but i believe that they're gonna listen to the crowd and bianca is uh is in high demand right now so to throw the wool it would be crazy like for them to do that there'd be no reason what's next <laughs> SmackDown Women's Champion uh, Ronda Rowdy Ronda Rousey versus uh, Champion Liv Morgan. Uh, I'm, we don't have to make this too long. Uh, I'm gonna say Liv retains. Um, that's really? Like yeah, I think. I, I, I think it's gonna be clean. I don't know if it'll be clean, but I think it's too soon to take it off her, and the crowd loves her. So don't give it to Ronda, please. I'm gonna say Bailey returns. Ooh, I like that. And that's what causes drama between Rhonda and Bailey. I like that. I like that. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So, so, it, so was Seth supposed to have a match or no? He was going to, but it, it was supposed to be with a uh, fuck. Who he separated somebody's shoulder? Who was Riddle. that? Riddle. Riddle. Yeah, it was supposed to be with Riddle. Yo, just just pass me what you got. Ha! <laughs> I can use that right now, but. I heard they're doing some mystery shit like they did with him at WrestleMania. A lot of people saying Johnny Wrestling could pop up today. That's possible. I mean, we, we uh, Tony already shut down like all the AEW people, you know, not going. But I don't think Tony, I don't think Johnny Wrestling is tied to a it's contract. Not, it's not nobody. Yeah, he just appeared. He just appeared everywhere. He isn't tied with anyone. So I think that you know the Triple H guys are going to be coming back. So. Unless Tommaso Ciampa come up tonight, which I doubt. Yeah, I could see John, something like that popping up with a Seth match. That'd be nice. I don't think I've ever seen them two go at it, even though they're both veterans in the game. I have to look into if they've ever wrestled before. Because Seth had some bangers with Tyler Black, but that's another conversation for another Ring of Honor day or some shit. Um, and finally, in the last man standing match, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, versus the Tribal Chief. I acknowledge you. Roman Reigns. Um... This is iffy to me, like I said before. Very much so. Last man standing on top of that. I feel like whenever you remember, I say this all the time. Whenever you we do gimmick matches, you got to see who that gimmick favors or you supposedly favors. We got like you always got to look at that. It's a point of the gimmick it's to protect one person and make the other person you know play their strength. But I don't see these are two beefy dudes. You know, neither one, especially not lately, have been known for their endurance. They've been known for wrecking dudes. They don't have long matches except for Roman with that time uh, in Hell in a Cell. But that's not these two guys' thing. So I don't see how a last man standing match is really what we're doing with these two guys. Um, and I do have – was Edge Randy the last last man standing match at WrestleMania or whatever for a long – I hate these matches. They're too long. I, I don't know, man. I have I don't know who this protects. I don't know who I really want to win because I don't know where we go from – if Brock win, where do we go from here – if Roman go, who else is there to face? I don't know what we're doing, I, I, honestly, at the top of the card when it comes to the div- division, but I don't know. I, I, I already have no winner here. I don't really think it, it's going to matter too much. We ain't put the belt on the line today. This is what I said. This is what I'm saying. This is what, I, this is what I'm confused. Go ahead. Because Brock's lost, what, three times? 
Or will this be three? This would be three, I believe. That doesn't make sense to me. Because then that means he's no longer a beast. Roman's just killing him. So is he done with wrestling? That's it. That's that's his goodbye. If he loses, because what else? I, I can't I can't believe him if he loses and goes somewhere else and he's the man. You're not the man because you think theory interferes with the briefcase, or do we not? It's gotta be something like that to where there's an interference, shit's going wrong, and then Roman pulls it off. How do we send the fans home happy though? Because Roman's gonna do it. He's gonna win. Crowd's gonna cheer, boo, 50-50. And then this is where Triple A's writing comes in and something happens to where they write something into where they pop up and fuck up Roman. I don't know who. Is it going to be Triple H and Seth again? I don't know, but. I don't Oh, It's not looking good. I, we have, It's crazy because we got like hope because, you know, Trips is back and all this other stuff, but it's like. There's a lot of damage here. There's a lot of damage here, and there's not a strong, as strong a roster as we've had in the past. It's looking real iffy. What the fuck? Um, I don't know. I'm just saying because SummerSlam is the end of <coughs> Vince's writing, supposedly. So this would be time for him to write something new, and you know, Trips is pretty good at NXT of. Having shit happen at the end, like oh, like the Drew, Adam Cole. So I already hope we get a refresh reset button so, right now. So, so could we get a, could we get Seth coming in? Could we get Johnny Gargano coming in there? Could we get Johnny, Seth, and Tommaso? Like we need some kind of threat that's going to take away from Roman and the Usos. Man, well, I already don't see it happening, but hopefully, you know, y'all. Comment below what y'all think gonna happen because you know me and Chance are talking. We don't get enough comments. I, I want some more comments. I want y'all to let us know what videos y'all want, all that stuff. And if you don't want to do it in public for some reason, you're free somebody join the Discord and maybe tell do that stuff there. And I'll take that interaction instead because we can still show that. We do make videos off what you say in the Discord. Yeah, so that's also true. Um, yeah, we can also you know have voice chats in the Discord and stuff, which we haven't happened. We've just watched the stuff. We actually had somebody stream one of the pay-per-views in the Discord. So if you don't want to fuck up with cash, but they did. There you go. We got options, man. Come in there. Yeah, we have family up there. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's real talk. Trust me. If there's time, I can't keep bagging on me because I ain't, I ain't ranked high up because, but you know, I just don't be in there all the time. Like Vegeta. You know, He's like Piccolo. Hey, Piccolo is black. If you watch Dragon Ball, you know, low key. Um. Anyways. This has been another, you know, wrestling behind the curtain. Uh, I don't have anything in the works right now. So, again, let me know what y'all want. Or, you know, I'll probably just update y'all in the G1 soon. That's coming soon. I think they got another. There's matches tonight and matches tomorrow. So, after that, I'll update y'all again. There's been some fire in there. Uh, I can show y'all where to find it. So, especially yeah. Discord. But, yeah. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Get the merch, get the Patreon, do all the good stuff. Number one thing is be yourself. And this is brought to you by Kenny with, you know, we bring it to you, you know, straight shot, no chaser. You know, if I didn't take the shot beforehand, but I'm about to take the shot after that. You know, I came straight from work, had to sit down, down, get the chat in real quick. Nope. No little production meeting. But, you know, we're here. Come back.